Good evening and welcome to the Channel Studios here in London with your international news around the world in five. The European Union has published contingency plans in case of the possible collapse of Brexit trade talks with the UK. The plans aim to ensure basic air and road travel as well as allowing the possibility of fishing access to each other's waters after talks between British Prime Minister Boris Johnson and European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen ended without agreement. The UK is due to stop following EU trading rules on December 31st. Downing Street issued a statement following the summit saying that very large gaps remain, while the European Commission underlined there is currently significant uncertainty about whether a deal will happen. I had a very long conversation uh, yesterday night with the Prime Minister Boris Johnson. It was a good conversation, but it is difficult. Hunter Biden, son of US President-elect Joe Biden, has announced his tax affairs are currently under investigation. US media quote sources saying the investigation relates to business dealings with foreign countries, including China. Hunter Biden said he was confident he would be shown to have done no wrong. The Biden-Harris transition team said the president-elect was deeply proud of his son. Reports say the investigation was begun in 2018 before Joe Biden announced his bid for the presidency. And I'd go to Florida and I'd take it easy. Hunter Biden was a frequent target of Republican criticism during the 2020 election campaign, focusing on his business dealings in Ukraine and China when Joe Biden was vice president in the Barack Obama administration. The U.S. Federal Trade Commission has said nearly every U.S. state has sued Facebook, saying that it broke antitrust law and should be potentially broken up. According to experts, that could mean the for sale of two major platforms it owns, Instagram and WhatsApp. Used its dominance. The coalition of 46 U.S. states and Washington, D.C. accused the huge social media company of using its dominance in the industry to crush competition. The complaints accuse Facebook of buying up rivals, focusing specifically on its previous acquisitions of Instagram for $1 billion and messaging app WhatsApp for $19 billion. The lawsuits are the biggest antitrust cases in a generation. A female journalist has been shot dead in eastern Afghanistan, the latest victim of a spate of assassinations across the country. Malala Maiwand was on her way to work in Jalalabad when gunmen opened fire on her vehicle. Her driver was also killed. No group has officially claimed responsibility for the attack. Ms. Maiwand had previously spoken about the challenges of being a female journalist in the country. Hundreds of protesters have taken to the streets of the Albanian capital Tirana after police allegedly killed a man for breaking a coronavirus curfew. The 25-year-old man was killed in what police described as an excessive use of force by an officer during a curfew introduced to prevent the surge of COVID-19 cases. Protesters demanded the resignation of the interior minister, throwing objects at his ministry and setting Christmas trees on fire. Two police officers and a journalist were reported as being injured. An unmanned SpaceX rocket has exploded during a return landing attempt in Texas. The prototype rocket was designed to launch a heavy lift vehicle, which is being developed by SpaceX to carry humans and 100 tons of cargo on possible missions to the Moon and Mars. The self-guided rocket's test flight had been intended to reach over 12,000 meters of altitude, but blew up as it touched down on a landing pad. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk said the fuel header tank pressure was low during landing burn, causing touchdown velocity to be high. And finally, researchers believe they may have found a previously unknown species of beaked whale in waters off Mexico's western coast. If confirmed, the new species would mark a significant discovery among giant mammals. The team of researchers came upon three unusual specimens while tracking a different rare species of typically shy beaked whales near Mexico's remote San Benito Islands. The scientists are now awaiting the analysis of water samples that could hold skin cells for possible DNA testing to confirm whether the whales are a newly discovered species. And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the channel studios in Lagos. Thank <music> you.